All righty, ladies and gentlemen, Sanch here. Welcome back to another episode here on BNN. If you guys are new here, ladies and gentlemen, if you are new here, please, please subscribe. It helps the channel so much with growing and reaching a larger audience and new viewers like yourself. So please share it with a like-minded individual. But in this video, we're going to be covering the pre-judging for the 2022 Texas Pro uh, in the men's open bodybuilding actually working yesterday so I was only able to watch the live stream I was not able to commentate on the live stream but today we are going to dig into uh, some footage and uh, photos from the Texas Pro my recording of the show uh, did corrupt so I wasn't able to get highlights for uh, you the viewer uh, from the Texas Pro this year but we do have some cool photos so looking at what we have here uh, from the front, I thought that um, I thought Quinton looked really, really good. Uh, obviously, the big conversation here is Andrew Jack. Uh, my prediction was a top four for him because we just didn't really know how he was going to compare uh, against the other competitors, especially someone like an Olympian like Steve Kuklo and also a Mr. Olympia in the 212, uh, Kamala Gardner. Now, honestly, I think Andrew Jack won the show. Uh, coming out of prejudging, he looked just so lights out in forms of conditioning and proportion. He was very full. He was very clean. His midsection was very tight. There was no lacking body part. Uh, he reminded me a lot of Blessing Awodabu, except, uh, except, not accept, accept isn't a word, except when you look at Andrew Jack, Andrew Jack has legs. He has very, very big and complete legs, especially from the back. Uh, my immediate thought was, how is this guy going to look against Brandon Curry on the Olympia stage? Now, obviously, that's a big uh, prediction. It's a big leap uh, for someone who uh, hasn't won the show yet. But honestly, I think he looks really, really complete. I think he looks very competitive. Uh, and I think that he's going, I think he's going to surprise a lot of people. He's going to upset and hurt a lot of people's feelings at this year's Olympia. Um, I think he's hands down going to be the winner for the show. Um, overall, I don't think there's anything, like I said, that he's lacking. Steve Kuklo, although he looks nice, I don't think he looks big enough uh, or full enough or clean enough. The, the, the lines, the proportions, I just don't think he has enough of what it's going to take to beat out such a beautiful physique, such a beautiful structure like Andrew Jacked. Now, Martin Fitzwater coming in here looking phenomenal. I will say another Texas boy um, man <laughs> with him and uh, Steve Kuklo, both Texas guys. So uh, I assumed he was going to do well. Putting him in the top three, I think, is going to be a very bold prediction coming out of prejudging between him and Quentin Araya uh, and Kamalo Gardening. All are going to be battling it out for that, in my opinion, the three through five spot with uh, Jatepe, a.k.a. Big Bad Bundy, all the way on the left, la, um, uh, finishing out and rounding out the top six here. Uh, we didn't see Nathan Epler in the top six. We did not see Phil Klahar in the top six. Um, so lots of uh, talented individuals that we didn't get to see in this top six. Uh, very, very good showing from everyone. Uh, just such a great lineup, such a dense and thick lineup. Just very, very impressed. Uh, from the side, you know, side tricep, uh, again, I, I think that, uh, you know, this photo isn't exactly uh, the greatest for uh, Andrew Jack, probably the favorite to win, but making Steve and Martin look uh, very competitive. Uh, Martin, his legs looking a little bit bigger from the, from the shot, the, the, the hamstring drop looking really full, uh, a lot more dense and complete than uh, the way it's making Steve's looks uh, look. So uh, would love to hear your guys' thoughts on the top six coming out of prejudging. I am uh, absolutely impressed with everyone so far. I really think it's a, a good showing so far. I will say that the prejudge or the, uh, the the live stream for the prejudging was not great. Uh, the the camera shook sometimes. The camera didn't move a lot. It didn't move around a lot, so I was very happy with that as I think that that's very obnoxious and takes away from the physiques of the competitor. Uh, I want to see everyone at once, just like the judges are seeing. I don't want to see some weird zoom in, zoom out, TMZ, uh, Jerry Springer type stuff. Like, I'm not looking for that. So I was happy that Texas and Battle Up Productions and their team decided to go with a solid live stream 
I didn't like that it was in the back of the auditorium, and I didn't like that it was uh, grainy and the quality was not great. So um, there is going to be some critiques there. Hopefully there's a conversation we can have with the promoter there on uh, how he went around or how she went around picking the uh, production team for the show, and hopefully we can get some... Um, uh, we they'll allow us to give them that uh, that positive criticism, those critiques, and they can take that into the 2023 Texas Pro. And also, they have the Battle of Texas. They have uh, a couple different uh, Texas shows. So, hopefully, we get to see some improvements on the live stream. Uh, but if you enjoy this style of content, please subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comment sections below. Like the video and share it with a like-minded individual. It will help me out a lot. and It'll help this channel grow, like I said in the beginning, to reach new fans in a bigger audience like yourself. I'm Sanj, your host here on BNN. Thank you so much for watching. and I'll see you guys in the next one.